What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. A lot of people are going to be upset about this particular post I'm going to make, but it needs to be said, and we're dealing with Marcus Houston. He's a very, very talented singer. Um, you know, I think that he's either really close friends with Omarion. Some people think it's his brother. I'm not, not sure about that. But Marcus Houston is a great vocalist. Um, he doesn't get enough credit for the talent that, he, that he's received. He didn't really blow up like he should have, but the guy's a great, great singer. Um, and he was formerly a Jehovah's Witness. And um, I still believe he's part of the organization he could be. He married 20-year-old Maya Dickey. At the time, she was 19. He was 39. And they now have a one-year-old child together. Now, uh, a lot of people are upset about this, okay? And he recently gave an interview to U.S. Weekly. Um, and, you know, basically she's old enough to be uh, his father. And people were criticizing him because, you know, their age grab. Here, here you have a man that is... 40 years old, or 39, she's 19. And you have a lot of people, really, I would say, coming from the African-American community, you know, kind of giving a lot of chagrin towards this because, like, what does he want to do with this little girl? You know, that's kind of like uh, those, you know, R-A-P-E-Y vibes, all right? And, but at the same time, when you see Erica Badu, age 50, who is dealing with, you know, this 27 year old guy in, in, you know, now it's, well, you know, oh baby, go ahead and get your cougar on, you know, get you a young man. It's all good. You know, and that's a 23 year old, um, age difference. Then it's no problem. But when, you know, Marcus Houston, who met his wife, you know, at a Jehovah's witness convention, I, I believe he's still involved in the religion, but at the time she was, I don't know, 18. I'm not sure when it was, but you know, he married her and, and now it's an issue. Let's just be honest as to why it's an issue. It's an issue because number one, she's very beautiful. Okay. A lot of black men who have money, who have fame, there is a kind of idea that, you know what? You need to be dealing with somebody your age um, that you need to be, if they have problems, well, use your resources to help these women and their problems out. All right. You should be focusing your resources on helping these ladies who have, in some cases, hit a wall. All right. This, these are the leftovers from Pookie and Ray Ray and whoever else for you. But here's the situation. No, 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 it's not. Okay. That's not what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with that. What we're dealing with is, hey, I'm a 40-year-old black man, 39-year-old black man, whatever the age is. I'm looking for the hottest chick and the woman that's going to be with me that I can get. If you don't like it, that's tough. I understand you don't like it. I don't care. But I'm looking for a woman that's not going to be so problematic. And, and hats off to him because I wouldn't want to deal with a woman that young. Not because I think that it's nasty or anything like that. Because um, 20 is legal. 21 is like, but it's just, you know, so much of an age difference. And for me, um, you know, I know Jehovah's Witnesses, it's a, it's a little different of a religion. So that helps that they're in the same religion. So the same sort of programming. And that plays a big part because a 20 year old from the Baptist church, it's going to be a lot of arguing and BS. I don't have time, but, but in the Jehovah Witness denomination, their women are a little bit more prepared um, you know, to not to be wise and stuff like that. So that's not so much of a problem for them. And I think that's what it's more or less about. But, you know, for, for the guys who can get it, we're already seeing evidence of guys going, don't going to where guys going to overseas, guys going to Brazil, guys going to the Dominican Republic. And what women want to understand in the black world is this is your competition. 40 year old guys, 42 year old guys, 43 year old guys. The competition is 23-year-old women, 24. 
Why? Because the young guys, number one, they don't have the experience. Many of them don't. Those young ladies understand that. And those young ladies are like, look, hey, I know he's 20 years older than me, but you know what? He got it figured out. I kind of want to deal with a guy that got it figured out and, you know, they can help me in my development. And the women who were 35, 36, 37, who didn't want to be with that guy when he didn't have anything, now you're upset because, oh, well, he should marry you. No, he should not. You should have been competing from the first place. And you're going to end up being like Erica Badu if you don't change, and you'll be spending your money at 50 on a 27-year-old guy who can barely read and write and play the guitar. That's where this is going. Okay? And the, and, and the more eligible black men can be, and the more um, they can take care of their own situation, you're going to see them doing this more often. It's going to happen right in black America. It's going to happen in non-black America. You're going to see it. And obviously with a lot of women, especially during a time like this with COVID, you know, a lot of people are seeing how tough the world is without being married. I know we're in lower marriages right now than ever before, but it's tough on a lot of ladies. Okay. A lot of ladies, a lot of ladies are going to be looking for guys that had it figured out. If those guys are 35, 36, 40, God forbid, it's for some of you ladies, 50, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get there. And for me, as long as adults are consenting age, I don't see a problem with it. Even I don't even see a problem with the Erica Badu thing, but it shows me one thing that Erica Badu couldn't get a guy to take care of her. Now you're taking care of a guy. Erica Badu is damn sure fine. Damn sure had a big booty. Still do. Stop the show. I mean, if I was, <laughs> hey, I would have definitely tricked on that thing. But that's where we're going. And for those people who don't like it, then just, just get, get used to it. Stop hating on the brother for getting a nice 20 year old wife who is not what damaged emotionally. And that's another thing. A lot of ladies tend to be emotionally damaged by the things that they've been through. Now, I do know that black women suffer from a lot of situations, you know, from, you know, guys in their family, men that they deal with. I get it. But I'm going to just say this for a lot of good men that have not caused you know, this sort of damage woman's life, we don't want to be the ones that have to deal with it every day. We don't want to be the psychiatrist, the husband, and the father figure. Right? Sometimes if you can get a woman that's young enough and that has been the family's taking somewhat good care of her, okay, we can go through some growing pains and let her be pure and grow with me. Versus, okay, you've had all these guys as boyfriends that have been bad to you over the years. You're too, you know, you get to a certain age, you can't change. No man wants to deal with that. You know, a younger woman, although young, she's more open to the world and more open to having a good man. When you get with a woman that's been with all these different guys and, you know, by the time you get her, she's 30 and 40, she's already, she can be already be done, ruined. So, but guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.